Hello out there, vinyl community, music lovers. Welcome back to the Prog Hat channel. I'm Edward. Purpose of this video is I'm going to show some new used records that I've gotten in the last few weeks. And before I begin that, I got a couple of things that I want to mention. I did go ahead and put an order in for that super big deluxe box set of the who's next i just said you know what i'm gonna do it i'm gonna trade for it and make it happen so i'm, I'm looking forward to that it comes out next month the other thing is i'm looking forward i just got a notification that a record that i ordered the new album by the straubs the title escapes me right now but i'm looking forward to picking that up and it's friday and so i've been kicking back the work day is over for me. I was kicking back and listening to uh, Dave Brubeck, piano. Just you, just me. Really good sounding CD. So let's get into it. I didn't really want to make it too long of a video. Okay. So I got this on a clearance on Amazon for like under 20 bucks. And it came pretty quick. This is Saxton. I think this album came out 20, 22, 23. More Inspirations. And what this is, is they do their versions of certain songs. See if you can see. I haven't listened to this yet, but it was on Clarence. And I'm looking forward to hearing their version of Detroit Rock City. Substitute by The Who. And we got to get out of this place, so... And show that cover right there. Really neat photo of the band sitting on the couch. Heavy metal right there. Uh, next, I haven't cracked the seal on this one. It's just Shoegaze, uh, Dream Pop. Second album by this band, uh, Lush. I believe I traded for this one a couple of weekends ago. This is their album, Spooky. I'm sorry about the glare there. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I think a couple of other albums of theirs came out or were reissued as well. So this right here says 1992 studio album remastered from original analog tapes and limited clear vinyl edition. Next, alternative jangle pop indie rock. The Smiths, the Queen is dead. So, here are those song titles right there. One of my favorite albums by that. I got to say something. I did own that real big, super big uh, Queen is Dead deluxe on vinyl, but I went ahead and traded that. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what it was. Not that I didn't like it. It was just... I don't know. I didn't think I needed all that. So I went and traded that and for some other things. But yeah, it says on here it's made in Germany. So we'll see. So I'm looking forward. I love that album. Got a couple of more. These are used. These I found for a couple of bucks at a Goodwill or somewhere. But yeah, these were good finds. I found the nice Autumn to Spring And this album came. This album is uh, some songs that they did between <laughs> autumn and spring of '68 through '72. But was re what was really really cool is I don't think I'm familiar with some of these new songs. People consider the nice prog psychedelic, but what was really cool is that I found one on that Mad Hatter label, Ch uh, Charisma or Charisma, and man, that was a bonus i gave it a good old spin clean and i'm ready to, i got this one ready ready i got a bunch of records ready to listen to that i cleaned uh last weekend and my last find that was um a couple of bucks i could not believe i found this i've been looking for this i didn't really want to order it off of ebay and i've just been having bad experiences with discogs some people just don't want to be truthful about records or sell you warp records or 
older record. That's been my experience, or you know, or try to auction off records way more above the price. But anyway, this is Koran. Andy not no girl or something like that but this is a band that is kraut rock and so this album came out in 1974 i cannot believe i found this i'm a big fan of this band and i'm looking to add some more because in a couple of more months september october is going to be the record show here in austin texas and this is one band that I'm going to try to find some of their records as well as some other prog stuff. I'm looking for jazz there. I'm looking for some more to add in my Elvis Presley uh, collection. But yeah, I would, could not believe I found this for two bucks. Because I think on eBay and Discogs, they go for a little bit more. At least $20 is a $20 record. And it's on that, uh, you know, Passport Records which I still like that label. But anyway, just wanted to come on here before the weekend starts and share my uh, latest updates and finds. I hope everyone is doing well out there. And again, I want to thank uh, again for all the new subscribers. Um, if you get the chance and you see this video, please hit the like. If you like what I'm doing here, hit the subscribe button. And I really appreciate it. Appreciate the comments. Take care and I'll see you soon.